Hey guys, this is Will back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a planet. It's like all about the door planets and the planets with my friend Ryan Beast. And we already made one before this, but you guys couldn't hear him at all. So I fixed it. And, but Ryan Beast, make sure you talk loud. So like they can hear you. My mouth right up in the mic. Is that good for you? Yes, perfect. Alright, ready? Let's go to the sun. The star of our solar system. The raging star. Oh god. I forgot how the Alright. So guys, the sun is a star. It can reach up to seven million degrees. It's made up of very hot gases. And it and and hydrogen. And it um and it and it is the biggest thing in our solar system. And yeah, so like it's the it's, it's very big, but it takes twelve twelve thousand years to Earth years to orbit our galaxy. It's just kind of orbit our galaxy. Yeah, the our our um solar system orbits the galaxy. Like we orbit the sun. The sun orbits the galaxy. All right, let's go. Let's try to hop to Mercury. Mercury. Yeah. Hop to Venus. Oh, no. All right, Venus has dry lava that looks like pools of lakes, and it is the hottest in our solar system, possibly the hottest in our galaxy. Possible, kind of, because it's 900 degrees. Mercury is 800, and it is a sister planet of Earth, and it has. And it has volcanoes. And um, Earth is a tiny bit bigger. And it's six thousand six thousand miles across. Like Earth, it's Earth is seven seven thousand seventeen thousand. No, seven thousand miles across. Venus is six thousand. All right, let's go on. Let's try to hop onto the Earth. Try to talk a little bit louder. It is the only planet in our solar system uh, with life, as we know. We're not sure if Mars is alien. Uh, but because it is kind of similar to Mars, we will explain that. And it is the uh, no, okay. And it is the only thing with life, with animals and people. And it has one moon to circle around it. And we would have no ocean without the moon. And the moon is our satellite. Next, Mars, Mars, Mars. Hopefully, we could just Mars. walk to the planet because of how close it is to Earth. Too much climb blocks to just jump on. Yeah. So. So, Mars is the second smallest planet in our solar system. It, it, if you count Pluto and all the door planets, it's like the sixth. And, yeah, um, yeah, seventh. And, um, Mars has, uh, ma uh, the biggest mountain in our solar system. Possibly the biggest in our galaxy. Um, Olympus Mons. And it has two moons called um Phobos and Mobos. Phobos and Demons. Demos and Phobos. Here's the moons right here. These are the two moons. 
Phobos. Yeah, Phobos and Deimos. Deimos is a, no, Phobos is a tiny bit bigger than. Well, one of the two planets is bigger. It could possibly, it could possibly have life like Earth. People have been, people have been seeing um weird alien like creatures on um on Mars, but they don't know if it's real or not. It has a north and south pole, just like Earth, and it's like four thousand miles across. And I had and. In um, Phobos and Deimos or whatever call it ever got, um, that they are the two for the smallest, like for the smallest planets, like the inner planets. They're the biggest moons and they're the most moons of the small, the inner planets. Because that's two. Earth has one, and Venus and Mercury have none. So let's go. Let's go on to series. The dwarf planet. Okay, so as I just said, Ceres is the dwarf planet. It is the smallest, and it, do, it is the closest dwarf to the sun, and it lives in the inner Kuiper belt, which separates Jupiter and Mars. Um, scientists used to clarify of a planet because at that time there was no asteroids, but now they figure out that lots of buddies came in, right now. Now we're gonna call you a dwarf planet, and so he's no longer a planet. And can I say something about this planet, this dwarf planet? Yeah. Is that the biggest asteroid in it? And on the right yeah. side of it, it's all teared up from all the asteroids hitting it. This is a bad time to control this side, but. Oh. All right. So. So Jupiter, Jupiter has a giant red spot and it's and it's a raging storm. Scientists think 400 years ago is when it took form and um and see how you know how Jupiter has like blue and it could be those two colors. Well, it's really blue in this color and like usually these are just like moving because those are huge winds. And um, the giant red spot gets smaller every day. People, scientists say and it's the biggest planet in our solar system. Um, it it is um, eighty nine thousand miles across. It has rings, six rings, but they're invisible because they're such a small amount. We just added them right now. We added them because we wanted to represent that it still has rings. Forty years ago is when they found that it has rings. And it has the biggest moon in our um, solar system called Ganymede. Ganymede. It has like 24 moons. No, it has 64 moons, and the biggest is Ganymede. It's bigger than Mercury. God. It actually is. It's so big. Its mass is like two. Like it's bigger than Mercury's. All right, let's go on to Saturn. I'm just voyaging on Saturn. Okay, let's you guys know. Saturn is a brownish, lightest brownish planet. Alright, plug your mic and plug it back in. What's oh, happening? Chunks. All right, let's go on to Uranus. The second, the third biggest planet in our solar system. The second biggest, yes. Um, it's bigger than Neptune. Um, and its rings are the second biggest in our solar system because of how like you can actually see them just like Saturn's. 
Um, it is a a um tor a turquoise um color. Um, it's like it's um green and blue, which makes like a turquoise. And it um this is how um they found it. Gal Galileo. He he found it. He looked up in the sky with his telescope. And then he saw a greenish blue object. So then he so then he thought it was just a star. So then so then um So then he looked then he looked away for like a couple of years. No, like a year. He looked back up in the sky and he went to see where it was and it was gone. So he knew it was a planet because it orbited our sun. And and it's a very strange planet because it's tipped over on the side, if you guys could see this. Yeah. But wait, I wasn't done. No, I was watching videos last night and Giant just found the ninth planet. Yeah. Yeah guys. Guys, there's a ninth planet and my and my dad told me and you know what it's you know what my dad said it was called? Planet X. So there might be another planet in our solar system, guys. That it was like on the it was like on the news and stuff. It's on the Kuiper Belt. It's on the Kuiper Belt. Yeah. So and yeah, like I was saying, um, Uranus is tipped over on side from. They don't know, but it could have been a huge planet that crashed right in it. Because there was a planet that was. That was orbit. That was like it was faster than um Jupiter's um day. It was like it was like nine hours equals a day on um up this planet. They said, and like it um probably crashed right in, into it, and that's probably why it soaked it over. Let's go on to Neptune. Talk a tiny bit louder. It has a few rings and it is similar to Jupiter because it's a very big form. And scientists long ago found the form on it. And they looked back a few years and that storm was gone. And more years went by and they found it a, another big storm. I'll be right there. I'm just. I want to show them all the planets. Um, and, um, it's kind of similar like Earth, because it does, it has, like, rocky, um, surfaces, so it's kind of like Earth, and some people saw, like, little blue, like, bluish on it, like, see these, it's like, and they thought those were oceans on Pluto, and, yeah, and, um, Pluto is like, you would feel like 30 Plutos inside of Earth, so it's kind of big. For its dwarf planet size, it's kind of big. It's the size of Russia. Yeah. Huh? It's basically the size of Russia. Alright, let's go on to Helimea. Here. Like I said, series is a little small, but nothing really 